owl. The owl has returned. The time has come. stick in the mud. Let's go and find out. Mm. This way, I think. Yeah, this is the way. Oh. Almost tripped over that vine there. Eh? <laughs> oh, good morning. Ah, Hobbleweed. How are things with you, my old friend? I'm just fine. I'm making a little bit of music. Making music for the frogs. You see, I've got some frogs here in the swamp at the back. And they love listening to my music. <laughs> frogs? I miss my old frogs. Huh. Lovely creatures they were. They used to keep me company, they did. During the springtime. It's lovely to see them hopping around the swamps around my home. You know what they say? When I was growing up, there's nothing better than a good mud pie. Oh. Nothing better, Squire. No, sir. No, sir. I dare say you've never tried a mud pie yourself, but, well, we can soon remedy that if you like, Squire. I can make you my best mud pie. It'll be a beautiful thing, a very beautiful thing. Halloween. <sighs> OK, Squire, OK, I understand, I understand. But you don't know what you're missing out on. Oh, no, sir, you don't know what you're missing out on, Squire. These are the best mud pies in all the land. I promise you that. Mm -mm. The very best. You know what? I really do fancy some mud right now. Now, do you fancy something to drink? Well, why not? <laughs> I'm always up for a drink with you, my Hobbleweed, I do miss the old days. I'm getting too lazy and too fat around the old stomach. I need to do something. I need an adventure. I need to get out there and explore the world again. I dare say you're right, Squire. Do you miss the old days, Hobbleweed? Oh, well, Squire, you know what my head is like. I can barely remember what happened the other day, let alone all that long old time ago. You tried to tell me you can't remember anything from the old days? <sighs> no, sir. I can't remember a thing. You can't remember the great adventure that we went on? You know, the, the, the dragon? The, the battle? The Galligans? That time we had to carry you because you got drunk? Oh, yes. I do remember now. Of course, you would remember that, wouldn't you? <laughs> oh, gosh, yeah. Oh, oh, those times were great, weren't they? Ah, it's a lot more of a simple life now. And you know what? I like it. Oh, yes, it suits me fine. I couldn't ask for more. Just me, ah, my old home, my frogs and my music. That's all I want in my life, Square. That's all that I've ever wanted. Well, that's where I'm different from you, Hobbleweed. I need adventure. I can't just sit around all day, eating and drinking. 
It would drive me mad. Oh, no, 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 no. I need a quest. I need something to live for. Something. Anything. Oh, the weeds, you must... Oh. Seems like I'm keeping someone awake. Dear Hobbit, if only all the world was like you, how wonderful that would be. I better get home, get to my bed, find some dreams of my own. Good night, Hobbit. <laughs> be quiet now, my little friends, be quiet. Now, do I have your ears? <laughs> Good. Listen to this. I need you to take this with haste to the northern lands. Go on, off with you now. We can waste no more time. We've got to go and find an old friend, Boldadoff. You remember him. Okay, Hobbleweed. We've got to go to the Hall of Mirrors. Let's go. Remember this? Huh? Did it look familiar? 
familiar to you. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, Squire. I don't recognize it. It's a magical disc of wheat. All evil flees before its light. Do you remember we stole it from D. Juden? You remember D. Juden, right? Oh, Squire, I'm sorry. You're going to have to jog my memory. I can't remember anything. You know what my memory is like. I dare say you do by now. I dare say you know what my mind is like. I can barely remember what happened the other day. D. Juden with a strange evil. He had a mysterious dark power about him. I always feared that he would return to take back the disc. But not so. I hope never to see him again. There was something vile, something rotten about him. Some horrible shadow lurked in his putrid heart. There was something real bad about him, all right. Oh, I hope I sleep all right without having any nightmares. Hmm. Ah, here we are, the city of Wuwinton. You know, I used to call this place home once. Not anymore. Not since they took over. Sovereign order. <laughs> Scum. They have no right to be here. No, we are freedom. It's a sad thing. Come on, Hobbleweed. Let's get going and try to act ordinary and, you know, don't cause a commotion or anything. And keep your head down for crying out loud. I don't want any of us to be noticed by the Sovereign Order soldiers, all right? So, just be calm and, 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 and you know, don't say anything, huh? Well, I, well, I'll do my best. An ale, please, my good man. And a, a drink for my friend as well, whatever he's having. I couldn't live here. No, I'd rather live on the edge of the world, in the wilderness. I'd feel safer there than in here with them. Walking about the place. <sighs> ah, you traitors! No, sir, we're locals. Nothing more. Not that that's any of your business. Good morning to you, sir. Hobbleweed at your service. And this is the squire, Ridwin. Do you have permits? We are farmers. We don't need a permit for anything. Remember, it's our work that puts food in your bellies. I am taking you two in for questioning. You understand why? We can't be too careful with strangers in town, not since that rebel rabble took up in the forest. We don't want any trouble, thanks, sir. No trouble at all. I don't believe this is happening. Can a man not just walk around the streets anymore without getting arrested? Ah. Leave them be, or you will have me to answer to. I know these fine beasts. Rudwin is a local hero. And a dragon slayer. Continue to bother him, and you will not only have my voice to answer to, but my sword. Are you threatening me, scum? Maybe I am. You should show respect to the soldiers of the Sovereign Order. We protect you from savage Galligans and from the beasts of the world. No, your place. Filth! 
I know my place quite well, and it is here, standing in defiance of you. Put your sword down, warrior. You're with the rebels, aren't you? Give it up! You lost the Battle of Filters Ridge years ago! We lost a battle, but not the war. The fight still goes on in the south, and the peoples of this land will never rest. Not under your yoke. Right. That's it. You will hang for your treasonous talk. That's it gone. Oh, gosh, I wish I was a little bit taller, Hobbleweed. I'd be smacking him in the face right now, I tell you. I wouldn't mess around. Follow me. We've got to get out of here before more soldiers arrive. Thank you, sir. You've helped us out of a tight spot. Uh, might we know your name? I am Sir Woodwick. Brilliant. Good to meet you, Sir Woodwick. Soldiers took a friend of mine to one of their prison towers. They never came out again. It would have been the same fate for you. Anyone they don't trust, they kill. No questions asked. Things are bad these days. Boldedoff sent me to look after you. Follow me and I will take you safely to the Hall of Mirrors. What is that? There is something evil in the mist. Don't worry, my friends. The disc will protect us. Are you all right? It's all right. It's okay. I'm fine. I just need a little sleep. I'll be fine in the morning. I'll be fine again in the morning. Don't worry about me, my friends. Oh, he's falling asleep. You know, I don't think we should disturb him. I think we should just leave him there, you know? He probably needs a little bit of rest. He's a hard-working man, mine. A hard-working man. Yes, yes, good idea, Hobbleweed. We'll set out again in the morning. Not far to go now. All of Miller's is within sight. Oh, do you remember this place, Hobbleweed? Don't tell me you've forgotten. Oh, Hobbleweed, you drink too much. Either that or you eat too much mud and it's all got stuck in your brain. Oh. This is the floating island of Sullen Moon, and there's an invisible bridge that leads over the chasm. The invisible bridge is veiled by the mists. You'll see. The bridge will only show itself to friends of the Fae. Like us. So we've got nothing to worry about. See, I told you, there's the bridge. Time to cross over. Oh, bless my soul. Would you look at that? It's a bridge. I'll go first, Squire, just in case it disappears. If one of us is gonna fall to their doom, it should be me. Stand back now. Off I go. Greetings, Ridwin. It is glorious to see you at last. I hope that your journey went without trouble. Well, he's a strange-looking fellow, isn't he? Oh, the beautiful Hall of Mirrors. Oh, 
house is quite a nice place, isn't it? Look at this, Rudwin. Watch this. The Lake of Gnomes is dying. Slowly dying. Oh no. It's awful. Is there nothing that we can do? There. It's the chalice. It's the chalice. The sacred seeds of moon, sunlight, and air shine in its still. The chalice can fill the lake with stars and song. The waters of the lake flow in me, in all of us. In the water is the flow of life. The trees, the flowers, all sing with the stars in the lake. The chalice once sat here in the Hall of Mirrors. For a long time we guarded it. Then the enemy came. They came from across the rift on ships of steel, floating fortresses, the sovereign order. They came to conquer, to control. As long as we had the chalice, there was hope. While the lake sang, the people stood together. But then the sun set on our lands. We were betrayed by a fallen vigilant upholder, a silver finger called Archantan, who stole the chalice and gave it to the enemy in return for wealth and power. With the soul of the land torn out, the people became divided, and we were unable to stop the advance of our foes. But no more, no more. We must take the land back. We must unleash the power of the lake, for it is the blood of our world, and break free from the sovereign order. The enemy is holding the chalice in their new fortress of ultimate power, a fortress of steel. From here they intend to rule the world. Behind the mighty steel walls they hold the chalice, secure in their titan grip. See. We have to get it back. The chalice contains the three seeds of the Cledrador tree, the seed of the moon, the seed of sunlight, and the seed of the air. The lake will dry up into a swamp and turn to mud and then dry into nothing. Then nature will collapse and all that we love and care for will be lost forever. Our world will become a desert. Our enemy wants this to happen, to starve and to destroy us. We can't let that happen. The chalice must be returned to the forest of Midam. Only then will the lake sing again. Right, that's it. I shall search for the chalice. I don't know how I'm going to get into that fortress, but we'll give it a try, hey, Hovelweed? And you will have my sword arm. Yes, and Sir Woodwick is with us. How can we fail? Hey, the three of us against that giant bestial fortress made of steel? We'll bring it down. <laughs> you agree with me, right? Well, there's no one else to do this, so there's no point arguing. We'll set out as soon as possible. I will seek out the Trolloid's wisdom. Maybe he will have some answers for us. Mighty Trolloid, speak to me. Seek out the dead river. Look for root, the hollow tree. Inside you will find the answers you seek. The secrets of the chalice will be revealed to you. Then that will be 
our first stop. Come on, Hover Wheat. We've tarried here too long. We have things to do. They're going to die, aren't they? All things perish, good and bad. How our friends perish is their own destiny. Let their hearts and minds weave their own tale. Whatever book they write, the rest of the world will read. Let us hope the ending is good, for the other ending will not be read. For no books will be written in the wastes if the lake dries into sand. Let us hope the ending is good, for any other ending will not be read. For no books will be written in the wastes if the lake dries into sand. Enjoy your fortress while it stands. Why in it? I need to speak with you. It seems that the Eternal Queen is here. She wants to have a meeting with us. <laughs> Res Tannen, as angry as always. Remind me, why don't we just kill her and all the others who swear fealty to her name? The reason why we don't kill them all is because they are too useful to us alive, working in the fields. Unless, of course, you fancy sowing grain and herding cattle, my lord. <laughs> Very humorous. Officer! Some of our soldiers. I want you to patrol the border, just in case the enemy attacks. As you command. How do you tell one another apart? I mean, you all look the same. <laughs> I don't mean any offence, it's just you all look the same to me. I am an elder. Elders take control. The youngers must wait their turn. My people cannot die. If they are killed in battle, then we are simply reborn again in the great circle. That is the way it has always been. We are eternal. Fascinating. Now, Arkantan, tell me about your people. The Darakondian are a very uh, fascinating race. My people? Well, we're good at building ships, and we're good at fighting wars. You should have seen the old fleet of the Seventh Legion. It was a sight. A sea of masts, as far as the eye could see. Glorious. Ah, but yet you lost the first battle for Filter's Ridge. How do you explain that if you're so good at Warcraft? It is true, mistakes were made. But we won in the end, and we took the city back. Now it's ours. <laughs> With our help, of course. If that rabble in the forest march on the fortress, they'll seize the chalice and then it'll be over! We don't have enough soldiers here. Most of our armies are still fighting in the south. We shall divert a small portion of our armies and attack them to the west, while leaving our main force back and strike from the east. They will never see the attack coming. If they do attack, we'll trick them. I already have a plan. We will offer them a place at the council. Q 
give our enemies a seat at the council? I don't think so. How do you think we're going to win this war if we give our enemies power? You misunderstand me, my lord. We don't have to give them real power. Not at all. Only the illusion of power. Think about this. What if we could win their trust? Bring all of our enemies into this castle here. Under the flag of friendship and peace. And then when they are drunk and gluttoned on too much food, we surround them with our forces. And crush them in one go. Kill them like bandits. <laughs> and the most beautiful thing no one needs to know, it will all be done in secret. And you will carry the knife. Bring in all of our enemies in one place and crush them. Yes, I like the idea of that. Win the whole war in one battle. And don't even give our enemies a chance to fight back. Yes, brilliant. Brilliant Arkantan, brilliant. <laughs> you know, Arkantan, the day that our two peoples became allies was a great moment for this land. Together we will tame the wolves that flock at our gates and bring order to this world. Let us drink then to order. To order! This is the Dead River, a grim place indeed. I wonder why we were told to come here. Ah, it's mighty cold out here, Squire. I'd better get a fire going, in case all the, all the damp gets into my roots. Good idea, Hoverweed. And while you're at it, make some music. We need some cheer in our hearts. No problem, Squire. to enter. Okay. The rest of you. Stay here. I'm going in by myself. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Wish me luck, my friends. <sighs> After all, Rut Win, I have not forgotten you. Who is that? Where am I? Nowhere, but everywhere. You came looking for me. Though you didn't know it. You were sent to the dead river to see me, because I am the only one who can help you. You, the Judane. No, how can this be? 
You want to get into the fortress. You won't be able to get into that place alive. But there is a way. Through the weavings of time. I'm not interested in your riddles. Send me back to my friends, you miserable spectre. Won't you hear me out first? Don't you want to know how I can help you? How can you help me? With a click of my fingers. I can do this for you. I can freeze time. Long enough. For you to enter the fortress, steal the chalice, all under the guard's nasty little nostrils, and not be seen. You will do this for me? I will, but not for free. Of course. Name your price, you villain. Give me back. The disc. No. Why not? Why do you want it? It's no use to you. But the chalice is. You need the chalice to survive. You will die without it. Swap the disc, a useless thing, to you. For the chalice and save your people. But you must give me the disc first. I'll give you the disc. Take it. No. No, actually, no. I don't trust you. And I have my reasons. Good reasons. <laughs> and I don't trust you. You tricked me the last time we met. You are beholden to me now. Give me the disc and I will give you what you want. And if you want to know why you should believe anything I am saying, hear this. I don't want your people to die. <laughs> it would be a very boring world if... Everything was just a big wasteland, wouldn't it? A big waste with nothing living in it. Very, very, very boring. But I cannot twist the waves of the universe freely and for nothing. Give me the disc and I will give you the chalice. Follow the river of dreams. Are you alright there, Squire? Oh, my word, you had us worried then. You had us mighty worried. You fell asleep. I had a strange dream. Very strange. I dreamed that I was inside the fortress. That there were no guards. And I drifted like a spirit through the walls. Down the ways of all the corridors. And then I saw it. It was there waiting for me. The chalice. I just moved in like a mist over the cold morning ground and I took it and behold there it is <laughs> the chalice it's ours by what sorcery dark sorcery sadly I met D. Duden inside the old tree, and I made a deal with him. I give him the disc, 
and in return, he give me the chalice. And I agreed. So, we made a swap, and here we are. Well, it was a good swap, if you ask me, Squire. I mean, I mean, that disc, well, you don't need it. And let's face it, it was completely useless. And every time you try to use it, it does make you feel ill. Oh, no, you did the right thing, Squire. You did the right thing. And think about it. We were looking for the chalice. That's why we're here. And now you've got it. You made the right decision, Squire. The disc has been with me for a long time. But you're right, dear Hobbleweed. You're right. I did make the right decision. <sighs> Excellent. Now we must take the chalice to the Lake of the Gnomes. We must go north now. I know the way. I have visited the lake many times in the past. So it is a road often tread by my feet. Follow me, friends. Let us end the quest. The chalice has been stolen! How is this possible? The gates are made of steel. We have soldiers everywhere. Ready a squad! The search begins today. We will scour this whole land if we have to. We must find the chalice! We have to find the chalice and bring it back at all costs! Hello, friend. We come in peace. We have the chalice, and we seek the Lake of the Gnomes. Welcome, my friends, to our forest. Follow me. Our leader wishes to speak to you. Yes, let's do this. Welcome, friends. My queen. I have a gift for you. For you. You brought back the chalice. You know what that means? The song has returned to the lake. Nature has a voice again. Now we can strike and rid the earth of that vile stain. We can bring down the fortress. Yes, let's do this. <laughs> let's get this done. attacked by a strange power. We're going to have to retreat immediately. The power of the chalice unleashed. Look at it, Hobbleweed. Incredible. The fortress is melting like butter. <laughs> Made of steel. It didn't do it any good. Not against the power. 
river, the power of water, the righteous water, combined with the sacred weight of the chalice. We've got them on the run! forces back to the northern border at once. And what are you going to do? I'm going to find her stand and deal with her once and for all. Sometimes a knife in the back is more effective than 10,000 soldiers. I should have killed her right from the beginning. Right at the start of the war, she should have died. Happy hunting! Stop that! You're too late! Not too late to finish you! She is dead. How awful. The fortress has been destroyed. But the Sovereign Order is still out there with its armies. And the Queen is dead. The leader of the Allied armies and our only hope. God. We failed. Finding the chalice, it did nothing. I can hear a voice out on the water. Listen. She is still alive in spirit. She is still alive in our hearts. Fight for freedom. It's still on. As long as we can hear her voice speaking in our souls. As long as what she fought for burns in our blood. We'll never give up. We will have our freedom. We will win this war. We will. The lake has been reborn, but this is only the start of things. A new book must be written, and Rudwin holds the quill. The past is set in stone, but the future is as free as clouds. Let us hope Rudwin sells the skies as sure as a sunbeam. May his words sing in the elder trees and lift the hearts in the grasses where the dews gleam with stars. Well, that's it then, Squire. Back home, I suppose. No, Hubbleweed, not yet. There is still more for us to do. Wars to be fought. Adventures to be had. <laughs> We're far from finished and far from ready to go home. Well, whatever, Squire. I'll be at your side wherever your feet tread. And I will be there as well. After you, my friend. Who knows where we will end up next, Hubbleweed? But then I suppose that's just the way of the road.